Each bottle may have a different weight, so every bottle that I go to fill, I will tear the weight on the scale before filling it. Studies have found that most of the honeys that you buy in the store, if they're even real honey, is watered down with high fructose corn syrup. I don't want to give honey to my children that have that in there, so that's one of the reasons I like having my own bees. The honey that I do is not processed except for it being run through a strainer. The purpose of running it through the strainer is just to strain out any bee parts that will get into the honey in the processing of spinning it out. I do not heat it and I do not process it in any other way. Weights and measurement regulations require that whenever you put a weight on something that you're selling that it has to contain at least that much in there. I always like to go over just a little bit that way I am well within compliance of that law plus I want to be sure that when somebody buys something from me they're getting fully what they believe they're getting. For dipping the cork bottles, I use 100% beeswax. I use a small crock pot for melting the wax in. The wax is now melted and ready to be used. First you want to check to make sure that the corks are pushed in well enough. It would be quite a mess if one of those corks popped out during this. The first two dips I primarily focus on just coating the cork. The crock pot does heat the wax up pretty hot so it's very runny. So one of the things I do as I'm pulling it out is just to rotate the bottle around to try to prevent too much of the dripping to going down the bottle. Now for the second dip. Here you can see the difference between one dip and two dips. It gets thicker with each time. This small crock pot does heat the beeswax up pretty hot. In order for me to put the final coat on, I need to unplug it and let that wax cool down. When the temperature of the wax is between 155 and 160 degrees, it is just right to put the final coat on it. On this final dip, I place the whole jar further into the wax. Because the wax is not as hot, you can see how much thicker that layer is.
This final dipping needs to be done fairly quickly because as you can see in the pot, the wax is already cooling down and starting to solidify. I believe this personal touch of adding the dipped wax to the tops makes it a nice little gift bottle. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these videos. Thank you.